Are you okay? Yeah, it's about to throw up. It's over. Are you sure? Christmas, which means that we feel sick. <laughs> we're very, very full of Christmas food. So we haven't trained in three days. Literally, we've just sat down all day and eaten, and just doing all that Christmas stuff. Maybe today's the day we get active again, move our body. But in true Sezzy and Kurt style, we don't just want to move a little bit. We want to move a lot. A lot. We often train separately because he does more bodybuilder kind of like weightlifting sessions, and I do hit functional workouts. But today we're going to train together. We can collaborate. Write up a session. And this is going to be a get back on track vlog, starting with an epic workout. All I've eaten for the last yeah week is fruit and nut mix. This is true. I've eaten just chocolate. He's been having like M and M's. <laughs> I've just been baking for people, which means I eat half the batter before I give it to them. Mm. So like we feel sick. We've just been eating. I'm sweating already. Got the mix sweat. <laughs> I'm gonna get changed out of my skirt. Semi plan in my head what kind of session I want to do. It's time to write up the session. Carnage. I like that. Four circuits with four exercises. Repeat each circuit three times. Yep. Well, it's gonna be that's gonna be tough after this. Chin ups. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, go cows. I'll do six cows. You do ten. Okay. Okie dokie. And the rule is, once it's on the board, you gotta do it. Yeah, I think it's gonna be really hard. So we've got our circuit one: ski, squats, crab walk, chin ups. We're gonna repeat that three times. Then we go to circuit two, which is air bike, ropes, wall balls, ab wall balls. We repeat that three times. Circuit three, sleds, TRX, lap pull down, shoulder raises. Again, oh, whoa, repeat Yeah, let's times. not do that, let's not do that. Four, row, burpees, bear crawls, V, sit ups. Go three times. 30 seconds to one minute between each round. We'll see how we feel. We wanna make sure you're doing every exercise to the best of your ability and with proper form. And because we've picked 12, by the 12th rep, you wanna be able to do no more. Stretch for like- We'll warm up. Yeah, let's warm up. Okay. First one down. I'm pretty tired. My leg fatigued so quickly. Crab walks are the worst. They're brutal. Like after. the best, but they just burn. And for my chin ups, I did 10. I tried to do 10 every time, but they were all assisted with like a resistance band. But I feel good now. Circuit one for me was a good warm up, and now I'm ready to like kill it. So we need to stop talking because then I get out of the mood. So I like need to okay. train. <laughs> Your cardio fitness is way too good. <laughs> After circuit two, then There's something wrong with you. <laughs> Even with the wall ball throws, try to like throw as high as you can and don't just go through the motions, don't just like chuck it in the air, forceful and impactful as possible. Oh, man. Shoulders are burning, legs are cooked. I definitely had a banana too close to work out because I can like feel my banana in my belly. <laughs> I'm in between Seth dying and he's says he. Uh, Are you kidding? I'm like the fittest I've ever been right now. I just eat so much. I should be like so shredded. Oh, I feel better after circuit three than I did after circuit two. So yeah, I just feel tired. You're dying. Burpees and row. Uh -uh. But I love burpees. I hate the rower. I 
hate the roller. I like the roller. I hate burpees. Last one. Yeah. I'm actually defeated. Really? Yeah, I'm so tired. <laughs> Oh. That was good. That was a really good session because I just had so much energy because I ate so much at Christmas time. I don't know, I just had loads of energy. You eat too many snacks and nuts. Yeah, my portion control. Yeah, I really think that refined sugar is probably the one of the worst things you can have in your diet because I feel horrible right now. I'm just so fatigued right now. Like, I, I really reckon that was what it was. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that workout. <laughs> Okay, so obviously tip number one for getting back on track is smash out a big workout. Breaking a sweat and as Troy Bolton once said, get your head in the game. Do you know what that quote's from? No. High school musical. I feel like there's two reasons if you're not in the mood to train. If your body is genuinely tired, listen to your body and maybe you do need a rest day. On the flip side, I feel like there's this threshold. Honestly, my most memorable and amazing workouts is when I feel that threshold, when I feel that bump and I'm like, oh, I can't be bothered, like I don't want to do anymore. If you just keep going and you overcome that little bump, the rest of your workout is so, so powerful and so much better. It's usually a cardio exercise that'll get me through that threshold. Uh, that rowing. It. It's the worst, but it's great. <laughs> As I'm rowing, I'm like, I don't want to do it anymore. And then if you just keep rowing, your body becomes numb. You just keep going and you're like, I'm a weapon. <laughs> Tip number two for getting back on track is always having healthy food accessible. I've always said when I had my own apartment, I would have a veggie patch. Thank you, Curtis, for my amazing Christmas present. Lemon tree, lettuce, beetroot, eggplant, capsicum. It'd be so, so cool. cool. If I see a worm, I'm going to die. I hate worms. Point taken. We have like half an hour to... We have like half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay, annoying. okay. Yeah, ready for this, Sezzy? Is it heavy? Got it? Uh, uh, yeah, good job, Sez. Thanks. No worms so far. This is good. This is fun. Glad you're having a good time. Eggplant? I don't know how to do it. Yeah, lovely. Oh, gardening up in here. It's a garden party up in here. I need a girl that knows how to move it Who can jiggle her ass and she know what she doing now Speed it up and go grab your wall Booty so big, have trouble grabbing You need to help me yep. We're losing him so How's the heart rate? How's the heart rate? <laughs> He's going! Go. Now yep, 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 yep. Get away! Get the bucket away! Go. You're right mate, you're gonna make it quick before I see a worm <laughs> Alright, that looks cute And then when you walk out the door you see a lovely plant Just need to hold yourself up while you water there mate Yeah, it's a tough job she is <laughs> Welcome to the car of fun. I like don't like the separation. I feel like I can't see you properly. Yeah, it's sort of cramping my style too. Now. Maybe we don't bring it. No, no. Are you stupid? <laughs> Such a dummy. See, this is the way that he really talks to me. <laughs> I spit on you. <laughs> if you're an OG subscriber, you might remember every Christmas holidays we go up the coast with my family. For like five days, our goal is to not go to the gym at all while we're up the coast. Usually we get visitors pass to a gym and we'll go to the gym every now and then. I think this year we're like way more functional and outdoorsy with our workouts. So yeah. I think we're just gonna do like my ebook runs and things like that. For tip number three for getting back on track, it's all about that H2O life. Bras, do you even hydrate? I can have a huge meal and I'm like, why am I still hungry? And I eat and eat and eat and I'm like snacking all the time and then I realize it's because I'm dehydrated. Encourage people to walk around with like one liter of water everywhere. I mean like even if you're at home and you're going from room to room, bringing a water bottle, bring it in your hand because you're more inclined to drink it. By the way, today's the 31st of December so I need to solidify my resolution. I'm definitely going to put a water kind of resolution in the list. Why are you going this way? You've got to turn the other way. Let's take you south. This goes north. You're a silly sausage lucky today. I'm, lucky I'm not driving. <laughs> Now I just ran in and went to the bathroom, guys. Guess what? what? I got my period. Did you? I just got my period. Yay! <laughs> oh, yay! Yeah, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. This, this I'm 
me gorgeous. This is not something that you probably so usually momentous. have this, this excitement about. <laughs> Yeah. 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 If you've been following my journey for a while now, you know that I was having some problems with my PCOS and amenorrhea and not having my period for like 10 months. Got really, really lean, really low body fat percentage. Literally just living my life to look a certain way. And now I'm way more balanced and I'm at the age now where I obviously want to start thinking about having kids in the future. My biggest focus has just been getting my period back and balancing out my body. I cannot believe I just got my period. Period. Always dreamed of the day that I could tell you guys, oh my gosh, I cured myself. I did it through holistic practices and nutrition. I can't believe that I actually did it. I don't think I've ever been so happy to be bloated in my life. This is like the best present ever. This is going to be the best 2018. I'm having really good vibes. <laughs> Our next activity is going to segue into tip number four. This is Curtis's tip, so you can share it. Have an extra activity outside of the gym. I've been through this where you feel like being active is only the gym and only training. Where it doesn't have to be like that. Kurt and I both like to live very active lifestyles. So yes, we go to the gym and we train and we do circuits, but we also like to be adventurous and do fun things. So Kurt's gonna go surfing now. I'm not gonna go surfing. If you go to the gym, that's totally fine. And I think gyms are awesome to get a really good sweaty session in. If you only do the gym, sometimes it can get boring and quite stagnant. So it's important to do fun activities. Yeah. They tie in nicely with your workouts too. Totally. Let's do it. dinner just because like why did we have a Mexican theme why not just because oh, pinatas and I got my own special little period pinata. My next vlogs will obviously be like how I got my period back and going in depth of my news resolutions because I was going to talk about them here but I feel like this vlog has already been very long. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, give it a like because it really supports my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>